You want to come vote for Trump today? Vote for Trump, yes, sir. Let's do this. You like Trump, though? Of course. You want to come vote for him right now? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Joey Salads, an American YouTube personality and prankster from New York City, has accomplished what many Republicans have been urged to do since 2020, beat the Democrats at their own game. Just three days before Election Day, on November 5th, Salads made social media a buzz with his latest move, which is likely to put him on the Democrats' radar. In a video titled Taking Homeless People to Vote Trump, Salads provided direct support to Republican frontrunner Donald Trump by organizing transportation for homeless individuals, arguably the group most affected by the failed policies of the Biden-Harris administration. Over the past four years, this demographic has been overlooked as the Democratic leadership focused on catering to illegal immigrants and funding global wars. Salads took to the streets to encourage the homeless to exercise their right to vote. I want a MAGA hat. Oh my gosh. Yeah? <laughs> I do. Nice. You want to vote for Trump today? Sure. But today? Sir, what are your what are your thoughts on Trump? I like love him, but not MAGA. Yeah, I voted. <laughs> I like he's a businessman. One participant expressed her excitement about voting for Trump, and many others proudly donned MAGA hats. Yes, I love Trump. You I love Trump to be president. Do you want to come uh, vote for Trump with us? But I get my mail from a place where I don't trust. If they put in mail-in votes for me. So you think that they're putting, they're writing your name on the ballots for you. Mm -hmm. That's why we're doing this, because the Democrats, they allegedly are getting ballots from homeless people. They're filling it out for them to write Kamala Harris and they're sending them in. Alleged massive voter fraud. So I figured if there's anybody who wants to actually vote for Trump, you know, let's go. However, Salads was clear that he did not discriminate based on voters' political preferences. He explained, I never told them who to vote for. I encouraged them to vote how they wanted. If they wanted to vote for Kamala, I would have taken them as well. But there were none. This strategy echoes tactics often attributed to Democratic operatives who have reportedly transported voters, including undocumented individuals, to polling stations in blue states. No, they had these people, they, they had about 12 of them walked in, they were all foreigners, and then they took them up, they, these younger people helped them to fill out, they, they say, vote PA today, yep. and then vote they took today, them up, yep. and somehow they beat a two-hour line, and then they walked up, and the one lady, they were even asking her, they're like, we don't have you in the system, your name's not right, and they're like, oh, well, we'll take it back and change it. Yeah. How do you change your damn name? Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you. What kind of shenanigans did I just see? On my way home from work today, I had two bus loads of charter buses of people turn in front of me and go down the road towards the election spot. I videotaped it. It's probably poor quality. I tried. Um, I have no idea. There's only a school down that street and the library for voting. Where are they coming from and what are they about? I turned around, I went back, and I tried to find them. They weren't in the library section, but they were back in the school section. This is at five o'clock at night. The school is let out already. It's not that far from it, but I think on that second video that you'll see, that if you look back in the back, you'll see the charter buses. What are they? It's a Monday. This is crazy. Reports now suggest that Elon Musk's PAC, America, may employ similar efforts to bus Pennsylvania Republicans to the polls on Tuesday, mirroring the approach taken by Pennsylvania Democrats for John Fetterman in 2022. Well, we're going to vote for Trump today. Do you want to come with us? We're all Why wearing hats. Why not? We're going to vote for Trump right now if you want to come with us. You have to be a registered voter? Do you have an ID? Yeah. So you can you can register on the spot. Hey, man. So tell me why you like Trump. What do you like about him? He, he's boss. He's uh, a millionaire. He's a billionaire. <laughs> he's a billionaire. <laughs> he's gonna be the blue golden era. That makes sense to me. Taking care of the people who want to vote. So it's right over there. I'll be waiting here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> go go Donald. And thank you for... Yeah, no problem. What are you guys up to? 
So we're driving people around, whoever wants to vote. So where did you find these people? I'm just driving around, just running around asking people. She's wearing it on her chest. <laughs> <laughs> La 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 This is my first time going coming to an election. Oh wow. Yes. Nice. So I needed to learn the process. I'm honored to <laughs> to help facilitate this. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> but he lowered the gas prices and he um, he looked like he was really a force for other countries to be worried about placing a stance on America being a strong foundation in this world. But I'm not worried about the taxes, I'm I'm worried about us our country not making it and other countries maybe thinking they can get a foot in. Fight! 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 fight.